So, as mentioned, I was finally going to share with you my trick on how you can have two IP cameras over a single cable. This can be especially useful if you already have a cable to somewhere and you have one camera set up, but you want to add another camera, for instance, you see here in my situation where you have a corner and you want to have two cameras, but you only had one cable run. And it's either impossible or very hard to get another cable into the same conduit or wall, or you have to pay actual people to come and do that. Now the solution I'm using only works for 100 megabit devices, such as IP cameras. For talking access points, this won't work. I have two options on how to do this, and the first option I'll show you right now. It's using these little boxes. Now I have an expensive variant and a cheaper variant. And I'll go into what makes these more expensive later on. Um, but how this works is basically one side has two ports and another side has one port. And these little boxes take advantage of that 100 megabit only uses four pins of the eight that are actually in the cable and on the connector. Now this method only works with uh, mode A injectors and switches. So I'll discuss a second method in a minute, but keep in mind you need mode A for this because it's only using the four pins of the 100 Mbit connection. So what you then do is you take a cable and this is your run to the location where you need two cameras instead of one. And you plug it into another box and then you plug in your devices, like so. Ooh. This way you can have two switch ports over a single cable in the middle to two 100 megabit PUE devices, mode A. And this works. I use this myself, as you see in the situation here in my corner. I have two cables run up there. One is for an access point, so that needs gigabit, and one is for two cameras like this and it works fine. Power is transferred over separate wires or wire pairs. So it's not like more current is going through the well, individual cables that are in this cable. And well, it works really well. So the biggest difference in quality between these and these, and these are a lot cheaper, they work fine. Uh, but the biggest difference is that you can get these with lightning protection fuses inside. Now, how well that actually works in reality? Uh, well, I haven't tested it, and if I ever do, I'll let you know. Um, but it, it gives you some peace of mind. Otherwise, these work exactly the same in testing and did just fine. So if you uh, can get another cable into a conduit or a wall, or you have to call an installer to do so, this might be a much cheaper solution. Now, I have another method to do this. That one is a bit more expensive, um, but that will also work for mode B. And that is using this little device. This is a Dahua, well, let me see if I can read the type number. Yeah, PFT 1300 PoE extender. This one has a PoE import, which can accept mode A and mode B, and active and passive actually. And the, oh, let me uh, turn that around for you. And then it has two out ports and the device itself is fed by PUE. So you can have a single port in your switch, which provides PUE or use an injector to provide PUE. It goes into this port. And then you can have two cameras on these ports. And this is basically a little switch, which also provides power to the cameras. As I said, it's a bit more expensive, but it works with mode A and B. And it's a more, I guess, intelligent method than just using the other cables. But I've tried both and both work fine in my situations, I've tried them. So if you can't run a cable, these might be good options for you. 